Good morning. You say good morning, Eliana. Say good morning. I brought Devotion Helper along today. Mom is down in Chicago for a uh, bridal shower. As you can see, we're very, uh, very mobile. And uh, so, so mom's down in uh, Chicago today. So we, me and Eliana are hanging out for a while. And rainy day, so it looks like we're gonna be doing a lot of, a lot of playtime in here today. And as you can see, she is very mobile these days. Uh, so maybe she'll come back in the screen here. But thank you for joining today. We look at 1 Corinthians, and we continue looking at 1 Corinthians 10. And Paul gives, um, he continues to teach the Corinthian church, uh, doing so in various different ways in this, uh, in this chapter. It, one of the ways in which we teach, there's a lot of different ways, right? But one, one is, um, is warning. You know, I think of Eliana and, and her future and many ways that I will warn her. You know, things that have happened in the past, things that have happened in my past. To warn her to, to of course, to, to teach. And that's what Paul does with the Corinthian church going in chapter 10. He warns them about Israel and things that they had had issues, things that they had struggled with. Uh, verse 6, the um, setting our hearts on evil things as they did. Uh, do not be idolaters. Uh, do not commit sexual immorality. Uh, do not grumble, complain against God. Um, warning the Israelites, or excuse me, warning the Corinthian church of the things that the the Israelites had struggled with in their past, saying, God wrote these down so that we could learn, so that we could learn from them. He writes in verse 11, yes, thank you. These things happened to them as examples and were written down as warnings for us, on whom the fulfillment of the ages has come. So if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. Oh, you ripped a little bit. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. Yes, thank you, Eliana. Beautiful verses uh, that remind us that these warnings are written down for us. Not only for the Corinthian church, but also for us to serve as lessons. God tells us to stand firm, to be careful. Because he knows what's at stake. It's our relationship with him, which is not just now during this lifetime on earth, but is the eternal one. And so, to stand firm till the end. And so that's what I pray that we have today. To stand firm to the end, um, holding on to what is important, um, holding on to that beautiful relationship we have with, with God. Oh, are we done with devotion? Can we pray first? Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the relationship that you give us. Help us to learn from, from past uh, mistakes. Help us to uh, hold on to you, to know that nothing in this life is more important than you, and to stand firm uh, till that day where we stand with you in paradise. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, a lot of things coming up tomorrow. Uh, we got the pig roast at the park, the church picnic. Should be an awesome day. Um, voters or a town hall meeting in between services, 9 15. And then next week, Tuesday, we got the call meeting at seven o'clock. Uh, so pray that you can join us for many of these events. All right. Are we all done? Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. God bless your day. <laughs>